Hey guys, what is up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In this video, I want to lead you through sales central for European sellers in Amazon and just briefly talk to you about like general structure of uh, Amazon in Europe and what things you're better to keep in mind when you start to sell there. So basically Amazon in Europe now has several marketplaces which actually cover in all 28 countries in European Union plus United Kingdom, which is not in European Union anymore, but you still can trade uh, from Europe to UK or from UK to Europe, vice versa. Key marketplaces in Europe, which are UK, uh, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, uh, Poland and Czech Republic. Recently, we got Amazon Turkey, um, Amazon Sweden, Amazon Netherlands. If you established your company in one of the countries like Germany or France or Italy, so that is your, let's say, home marketplace. And then from there, you can distribute your products all across the Europe to all other marketplaces. And you can use FBA network where Amazon basically move your products to a particular country and then sells your products from that particular country warehouse. For example, if you have business based in Spain and you want to sell in Germany. So when you fulfill your products, when, when you send your products to Amazon in Spain, Amazon will accept those products to their warehouse and then take uh, some, you know, some uh, some part of those products uh, from your domestic marketplace and deliver it uh, using Amazon logistics to, let's say, German warehouse. And then from German warehouse, it will distribute it to Germany and countries nearby which uh, don't have their own marketplace of Amazon. There is like pan European um, Amazon network, which actually does what I just explained. Then you have second uh, variation, let's say, or second option, which is not pan European FBA. It's just FBA when you keep all your products in your home country. And then whenever you sell to Germany, whenever you sell to France, whenever you sell to Italy, products are actually been delivered from your domestic country, from Spanish Amazon warehouse to that particular country. Is the reason why it might function this way, because the biggest issue about selling in Europe is VAT registration. Some countries require that you have to have a local VAT number. For example, if you're a Spanish company and you want to sell in Italy, Italian government would, would not let you to sell products in Italy not paying domestic VAT. Only in case if you're selling those products cross-board from uh, Spain to Italy, in this case, you would not be paying uh, VAT in Italy because you're going to pay VAT in Spain. But if you want to bring your products over to Italy and store those products in Italian warehouse of Amazon and then sell it to Italian customers. So in this case, you're obliged to apply for domestic Italian VAT number and based on all your sales, you have to pay uh, VAT uh, fees to domestic government, to Italian government. And such countries like Germany, France, Italy, Spain, uh, Poland, Czech Republic, they all require that if you want to enter their marketplace, you have to have local VAT number. But same time, there are a few more countries which um, have uh, their own marketplace, such as Turkey, Netherlands, Sweden. Um, they do have Amazon marketplace, but they actually don't require to uh, don't require you to have their local VAT number. And the reason why, because now in Europe you have, you know, those countries who want to um, participate in this e-commerce, like European Union e-commerce program, basically um, allow you to use your domestic VAT number to report your sales in that particular country. For example, again, if you, if you sell, uh, if your domestic country is um, Spain and you sell to Netherlands, you can use your Spanish VAT number even though you're using Ma Amazon Marketplace in Netherlands. 
Um, that's where so many <laughs> disappointment or confusion actually arise and people being a little bit, uh, you know, uh, lost in uh, what they should do, whether they need to register VAT number or they don't need to register VAT number. If you get into their uh, European marketplace and you're, let's say, immediately activate pan-European pan FBA and all your products is being distributed from one warehouse to multiple warehouses across Europe, you might find yourself in a situation when you're gonna start um, receive some kind of notices from uh, local governments from different countries asking you to provide the data, to pay VAT, and then uh, asking you about your activities. Do you have VAT number or you don't have VAT number? Where do you, where, where's your actually home country for VAT reporting and all the stuff. So my advice would be if you're, if you're doing it on your own, if you don't have uh, that much experience and uh, Europe is like your first try on Amazon, uh, basically don't 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 get yourself into the rush and step by step learn how each particular market is operating and which market actually linked to how each of those markets are linked link to other markets right and I would suggest if you're if you're in Europe definitely start from Amazon UK because Amazon UK is really similar to what you have in the United States and Amazon UK would be um, the most active i would say in terms of sales because from our experience what i can see uh, this is like the most active the most um, let's say advanced marketplace where people just buy you know so you don't really need much of your investment into promoting the products of course you always do but comparing to other markets it's much much easier again for every single marketplace you would need to adapt your listing so if you sell in germany so you would need to make sure that your listing looks good in german if you sell you sell your product in spain so you might you must be sure that in spanish it looks decent you know so spanish people can actually read everything they can understand everything amazon itself can pick up easily what you're selling because you know it's a search engine and it's also needs to understand what you're trying to sell it takes all those things from your description from your pictures and all that stuff which is related to uh, how you present your product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.